Welcome! In this demo, I'm going to use a letter to show you how QuickDocs creates new documents typically and just a little bit about the way QuickDocs works in general. So once QuickDocs is installed, when you have Word open, you'll have QuickDocs and Quick Numbers ribbons in Microsoft Word. And to create a letter, I'm going to go to the correspondence but one and just tell it I want to do a letter. So the correspondence one holds different types of correspondence. I'm going to do a new letter. Usually when you do a new document with Quick Docs, assuming the document is um, complex enough that we want to automate it, you'll get a dialog box like this. And you basically just fill in the blanks. There are some things to know about certain things, like maybe how to pull contacts in from Outlook, a uh, couple little things, but in general, you're just filling in the blanks. So I'm going to do that with this paused to save your precious time. Okay, I have made this letter to multiple people to show you something about that later on. And this particular client that I designed this for does some sort of fancy things with their letterhead and the partners. So this is all customized for a specific firm over here. Likewise with the Ray line, uh, we, I have it set up for them so that when they type a an internal file number or whatever they type in here, it remembers it and in the future they can pick it off a list and it will give them the ray line they used the last time for that. There are two pages. We've also got phrases and format. Here's the font that I've chosen. Some firms do or don't want this available, these types of changes. That's all customizable. And if you have multiple offices, they'll all be listed. And it will know based on the author you chose which office, but you could always override that by picking a different office. I will say OK. And now we will be in the new letter momentarily. There we are. Let me drop the zoom down a little bit and center this better. Okay, here's the letter. Now I'm going to just type a little bit of text in here to mention something about the formatting. So where it says to begin typing, added a bunch of text. In every template that comes from Quick Docs, we have certain standard style names. So if I go to the Quick Docs ribbon, I can look under body styles, and these will always be here, and they will always be formatted for the particular document. So in this case, this is a letter, and this client wanted it uh, justified with a first line indent and space between paragraphs. So this is what we call the body text, and under styles up here, the body text style is an option. If this was a pleading, it would still say body text here, but it would probably be double spaced and maybe aligned differently, maybe you know not justified, just depending on how the firm wants it. Also the font in this is Arial. Sometimes um, people use that for correspondence, uh, more oftentimes in Roman. So whatever font you want would be set up as a default and you could override that uh, if you want. Okay, so we have, my point with this is just that there are standard styles that you can use in any document just to make formatting a little bit easier. So I'll just put some numbers on these here. So um, that's one feature that will be available inside any document that comes from Quick Docs. Now the letter is a little bit special in that certain documents that are more complex, like a letter or a pleading, once you create the document and you have it open on your screen, it will have its own tab up on the ribbon. So when I'm in this letter, I will see the letter tab up here between quick docs and quick numbers. And then it has several macros for things I might want to do, like update the date, um, update the letterhead, change who the author is, etc. cetera, um, just to make things fast and easy. For the envelope and shipping labels, the reason I added multiple names here is to show you that if you have multiple names in a document, whether they're in a table like these or just one above the other, you know, separated with two hard returns, you can grab those names and then when you go to do envelopes or shipping labels, it will pull them in and you can do the rest and, you know, create it. So you can make it for all the names at once. Um, also for envelopes, when you're in a letter, if I go to do envelopes or shipping labels, 
we have get letter contacts, which whether they were CCs, blind copies, or the two, it will pull all the contacts for that letter in, assuming they were entered properly into the letter. So these are shipping labels. And then this was customized for a specific firm where they want the client matter number and some other things. Um, but basically, it's pretty standard. Just whatever customizations you want. I'll just create these so you can see what they're going to look like. So the, there are their shipping labels. Okay, so that's using the letter just to give you a little idea of how we create a new doc, you meant, <laughs> with quick docs. I'll do a pleading now. Now this is a California pleading. And I won't bother filling this in, just show you the dialog box comes up and sometimes there are multiple pages. I'll pick a couple attorneys for this and do a title. Now I'm in my pleading. Now I'll give you, a, since we're here, a quick example of those styles I was talking about. You don't have to put the text in before you use them. I just do it to make uh, using them a little more obvious what's going on. Quick Docs, this is the body text style, but let's say this paragraph was supposed to be a quote. I would have this style available to me. And that would be set up the way the firm wants it for this type of document. And here I have, a, you know, just another style that is sometimes used. Now, in a pleading, we also typically have a pleading ribbon, which we can have it just basically anything you want automated for your pleadings, we can have on it. Oops, I did a page break accidentally. Uh, let me just drop this down. We do have some buttons for aligning this text, um, but I'm not gonna bother going and clicking on them right now, but I'll just give you an example. Uh, sometimes people want these slashes from where they are at the bottom of the page. You might be doing a certain type of numbering. Basically things that you do again and again in a certain type of document, we can automate it and have it available for you. All right, now what else do I wanna say just really quickly while we're looking at this, um, we've basically taken all the documents that firms create typically and made templates for them, all the processes. Um, so for your particular firm, you know, we can discuss if there's something unique or unique ways that you want things formatted, that's all customizable. Then beyond that in this program, we just have several little utilities that help you do different things. Uh, for example, this is Times New Roman 12. Maybe it was supposed to be Times New Roman 14 or 13. We have a macro that will change it properly. In fact, I'll make it a totally different font, Arial 11. And this runs through and updates the styles from the bottom up so that everything gets updated. When you go to do footnotes and whatnot, they will get updated to the new style. You don't have the old font format coming back in. Uh, other things, we have just power tools that are just miscellaneous, uh, macros that do all kinds of different things. A very simple example is here in California, when you do a, a court filing, where you, you upload the document to the court, they want a PDF and they don't want any hyperlinks in it because they don't want to actually click a hyperlink while they're reviewing the PDF and end up somewhere else. So this, if you, as you're typing along, email addresses, web addresses, if hyperlinks are in your document, you can just click this and it will turn them all into basic plain text and then you can make your PDF and you're good to go. So just a handful of things that have come up that people have asked for we put here. Things like working with section, bre section breaks can be really challenging to people. So we have added a tool that makes them go in much more easily and turns off some of the settings that tend to cause trouble. Uh, so basically just anything that we come across that we can automate to make it more efficient or remove several steps of doing it, that's what we've got in here. And uh, if there's something specific that you want, I am pretty sure it can be done. Then one other thing just really quickly while we're looking at this, uh, what this little tool does is it lets you take any forms that you have of your own and put them 
in a location where you can get to them quickly and easily and either create a new document from them or insert it as text into the existing document. So for example, with discovery, you may have some preambles, introductions for discovery, different types of discovery that you use again and again. You could have a little uh, list here that says discovery and have those files saved and they'd be available from here and people could just insert it into their document or they could create a brand new document based on it. 